this is making moves. And we have 50,000 rand to invest in a business. 10 entrepreneurs will come face to face with our panel of judges to pitch for this investment. I'm not convinced on where you're wanting to spend the money. Your business could be in line to win this grand prize and our money in the bank seat. Your business could be operating from home, the streets, or at a fancy office, no money, from a bicycle. Oksalai, we are looking for you. Only four entrepreneurs will make it to the final episode to pitch for that investment. Watch Making Moves every Monday, 2 p.m. on SABC One, Zanzi Fusho. Charles, how are you doing? I'm doing good. You have got four minutes to explain your business and dive right into telling us what you would do with 50,000 Rand. And your four minutes starts now. Good luck. So with the 50K, uh, I'll break it down. I would want to uh, improve my image, obviously. Then I'm planning to uh, implement a mobile app because nowadays uh, I understand most of the people, they're spending a lot of time on their mobile. So I need to reach them there so that my client uh, relationship and my client loyalty will be at least improved. So, Do corporates function on apps? Offices or homes can be such a sensitive and expensive exercise. Njenge Kasmet, when a fruitless thing sego so good to impasse Iaco, is on a regular and gentle la egas. Villa Pogaconagi it that projects in Genacon. Ea Sungulangu Charles and Grove. The Lipisnis Lila Sugulag and Miara Emita to El Guli. Jenga Manjege Bonaga seven a mat client, a massega cool, Sikuma la Paganga ma business as a seaman. Futum Zantabana, how got paid in a manch. I come out with Charles, Prince Charles and Lovo, uh, who founded with Dark Projects. Dark Projects specialize on move our offices, since it document management, asset uh, management, jalo and handyman services. When it's very unique, uh, we offer a customized uh, service to all of our clients. We have a with our clients with Wong Ashugile. So we customize our services. So all the words go to visit www.taxprojects.co.za or let's check out Facebook, which is Tax Projects, and we Twitter handle it to the Tax Project. Today I'm meeting a gentleman who's in the business of moving office furniture. Normally, salon out the business like a wall sungu and go by Funuxis Abang and Baki, a baby like a loom sevens. So, talks and like a band is Funu was good business like a sevens and Gani, food auto macasme and like in Roban. Joan Gimelana gave a voice, Ula Conag, a linea macasme and like a licon. If business like Lomlisa, Lona Gali pays the Lenag, a pinon. I guess one little business in sevens and Jan, Elazongo to a gay tax project. Hi. 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 Cutting down our trees. So, we're gonna move it from here and then we're gonna go and install it on the other new site as well. Yes, yeah. All right. Um, are you always a site in Manga Bekona? Yeah, I'm preferring to be a site in most of the time just to address it isn't using a Kamoga so urgently. Yeah, yes. yeah, but most of the time in yes. Abantu, I'm a site manager's Wami. Yes, Abakona, Mawut, and Kombambegile on the meeting on with Kumim Sevens. Yes, sir. Yeah, it's Katas Mille, um, Sevens of Lindina Party. Gizoba now so long ago, I think she's getting Tim Tanzani, Bessie Savang. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.
Okay, so good job. So you are not even a young mover is in battle for in campaign. What's the language on your own? And as Magata, when you company, I would have sent a corner among your moves and I see our office. Then up up until I realize which you win opportunity. Yeah, yeah. Then I'm a chicken and spanner now. That time I lose some savings to the previous employment. Then I turn out and we can just keep the ball rolling. Yes, we can do this stuff here. Bong is easy, uh, especially uh, like as a young black. Would also recognize and I'm a clients, uh, I'm a big corporate. Bang about ten to say this year. Go me the first call about poverty for sure. Then to le, it convenient for one and jalo is secure for one. Mm -hmm. So, but we, but 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 we need to make a Yeah, with Sophia with the stage. Ah, no problem. This is season for today. Yeah, so long to do pagisha lana. So after my pagisha, let just to give a client a feel a security. Yes, we put this security seal. It's a temper-proof security cell, a box in here too. So say trade it through. See if I get up. So, my is your mover. So, so pala pants which is smooth. I'm a box, I'm a guard in general. So, pala e security cell lay. Okay. Here is a check on the client. Must pull my lana. Would be check with it. This is my stuff. I'm below. Then, on the other side, bag was with check in as well. All right. Namshanji banga kiki la boban du la boga o seven zana bo o tu kalele kampani forbon. My C team of eight. Yes. Of ama ama masinia guys. Yeah. Then if masinia span S S kolo sinama ama ama casual S W seven zana lunge from a lockshin. Kale netak from the beginning my kala that was 2014 I think the first move that they did by zana me. Seven so I just to check the guys and to drive the stuff less as sugar So if Siamova, you seven so I'm loyal, no Pegamachi to which is in the young girl at Just to manage the project in Jayonke all in all. Who are your typical clients? Uh, my typical clients mostly in my office, yes. in the revenue, and on is a skipper piece, is a squaz with coquilla, I'm a wages, a two, general coquilla, I'm a transport fees, right? Mm. Then sober, and I'm a, uh, I'm a personal uh, clients, like my smoothie office. Some of I'm a, I'm a, I'm a cash cooler company, but I'm a style with smoothie in, is inclusive. Yes. So say, in the commercial, can you need domestic? Charles uh, gave us a call because he saw this building was being constructed. So he came inside and gave us a call and asked us, when are we moving in? His services are quite good because the first time when we moved, when we used him, we were under pressure. So we called him on like Monday and we were moving on Friday. It was excellent, I don't want to lie. Because we moved uh, in three days. They worked over the weekend also, making sure that Monday when people come to work, everything is up and running. When are we going to stop running personal expenses through the business? Uh, I'm ready to stop. Okay, yeah. when? Let's say we're cool and we're going to be in Zimbabwe. Which is, we're cool and we're going to be in Zimbabwe. Losing his father to illness and having his mother leave him behind was not easy. However, his 100-year-old grandmother has been his rock throughout his life. Namhlanje lomlisa uxoxisana nathi ngobunzima ebhekene nabo esakhula. Alexandra. 
Baba was already in Zimbabwe. By then, but like Alexander, Baba is a soldier. Mama then never got to the kitchen, and then I thought, "Come on, let's be safe." And Mama came, Mama to be safe. And then it after the couple of the arrangement in Manyalo, and then get her back to my bailo to the coast in Baku. So basically, Ubaba asang is actually it too, but no one I like full time. Ubaba been deployed in South Africa and Jaloa, Zimbabwe, and Mozambique for our military operations. Wab. So most of the time, we see no ma. But we know we don't sell one of it. No ma, no matter how Ubaba, Ubaba why bread winner at that time. So get you we got to go call. Ubaba mama is going to look too la like. Something <laughs> So, in Teman Kreta is called a high school I'm from four. Uh, well, I'm going to change my results. I'm going to proceed on the A level, which is the advanced level, so that I'm going to be able to a university. But unfortunately, by that time, I'm going to go to the Kaya. I'm going to go to the Kaya. By then, I'm going to go to the Kaya. I'm going to go to the Kaya. So something by that time. Nale <laughs> Childs of in terms of school, I'm going to form four. Uh, I'm a subject in our choice. I'm going to choose the management of business, the geography, the mathematics. In a uh, idea, you would do one day I will own my own uh, business, you know. From when, where he's at Kale Corner, his interests are chivile. Ziabona Alange, what we are pimping your business. Yaki. Since it was established, that project has gone from three to eight full-time and seven part-time employees. Logo ya kumbi isa gutileli business, le kula nge si kuli si vinin. With that being said, the more employees, the more business it needs. Logo ya kumbi isa gutileli business, lo nage, li zoti ngage amasu agal, azol si za gutinalo, li ntontobali. Hi, I'm Charles. I'm here to meet Pepsi at uh, the studios for Making Moves. Oh, wow, it's quite uh, I'm excited, you know, and uh, I'd like to see the best out of this uh, shit, out of this art cup. Charles came into the removal space as a truck loader. That's entry level. Through his hard work and dedication, he swiftly climbed the ranks in an established office removals company. However, when his friends were retrenched, he resigned to establish duck projects to create employment for them and himself. Charles, welcome to Making Moves. Thank you. How are you, sir? I'm doing good, yeah. Fantastic. Take Thank a you. seat. Thank you. All right, brother. You currently have eight 
full-time employees mm -hmm. and seven part-time employees. Yes. How many people are management and admin in that eight? In that eight, uh, I got a lady who is in the office to do our books and to do our uh, or to attend to all the requests while he's away. Then I got two uh, senior uh, guys, my project leaders. Then I got the other uh, two, which are the team leaders. You know. Then uh, I got the others as technical as the filing clerks. You know, when we have a filing clerk. Do you need that many top-heavy people? Um, yes, uh, the structure I need for this business because you find out that uh, we got uh, big sites to manage. For example, if we get a big client, I really need people with expect expertise. Okay. So now, business. why are you so intimately involved in every single area of the business if you've got this management team that you trust so much? I'm a handyman myself, so I want everyone to be involved in whatever we do so that we can easily identify our mistakes and be able to uh, grow ourselves into that uh, aspect, knowing all our, the mistakes so we do. What time are you spending growing the business while you're busy being a handyman on your own sites where you employ a lot of expensively paid people mm -hmm. to do exactly what you're on site doing? I'm the one who's doing the marketing at this point. So I'm the one who first met the client. So I, I got all the details, even though if I can, I can delegate and pass it on, but I still got the deep concept uh, on what I discuss with the client, what exactly they need. So I need to be there just to monitor it to make sure that it's executed well. And you know? what does your site manager do? My site manager is there to monitor uh, the security uh, feature, meaning all the boxes need to be sold, so they need to check all those things. So with the team leaders, the team leaders oversees the casual on what okay, and so how we're going to do. Team leader managing the casuals. The casuals. You've got document clerks yes. that are specialists in documents. Yes. You've got a team leader. Yes. Who is or a site manager rather? Yeah. Who is this overall person? project manager managing this site. Mm -hmm. What are you doing there? Uh, you know, uh, on this one, maybe what I can say, um, I did uh, I did got a downfall uh, last year. Two of my guys, uh, uh, they tended to uh, go over my clients and then they opened up their own company just to save as ducks, you know. So, so I was still healing up and putting up structures to make sure my guys, the current guys which I have, they really understand and they're not going to make the same mistake like the other guys did. Because well, the other guys ducks. didn't make a mistake. They went and stole your clients and started their own business. Yes. Doesn't sound like a mistake. Uh, to me, I can say it's a mistake uh, because I involved them, uh, then I didn't put up uh, like limits to uh, who's responsible to what and how. Ah, you understand? So when I tried... Okay, so I understand your problem. Yeah. You don't trust people in your business not to steal your clients, so you act as a buffer and you give just enough information to everyone for them to get by, but only you have the deep picture. At the current situation, yes. And that's how you then manage it and control the fact that you have a relationship with your client. Yes. Why didn't they have restraints of trade? Uh, I don't know. How many moves are you doing on a weekly basis at the moment? Uh, to be honest with you, on a weekly basis, uh, we might have two or three, or sometimes the whole week will be full, including the, the, the weekend. Okay. And, then, and then the challenge with trucks and transportation, where you don't own the transportation, so yeah. you own the two smaller cars, yes. but the trucks you don't own, yes. and therefore they're not branded. Yeah. How are you going to get over that? Are you able to brand the trucks that you are renting? Like, what, how, how do you get secure there? Uh, I'm willing to uh, put uh, two more uh, uh, trucks, big trucks, which I'm going to brand my own brand and to brand all my, my little cars because it's difficult for us because the people, most of the co uh, customers in our field, they think removals is seeing trucks, you know, but to us, we really understand that it's in the detail uh, what removal is because we need to prepare, we need to plan and prepare, we need to uh, supply boxes, we need to uh, put a technical team with experience to disassemble and make sure that the finishes are I wonder if it's possible to have decals yeah. that you make and you can slap it on mm -hmm. on any truck that you're renting. Mm -hmm. 
You come in for the duration of the rental. When they're done, you take your branding off, put it back in your office. Next truck comes, you put it on, and then you just, like, they're all your trucks. And, in fact, when you are renting them, they belong to you at that time. At that time. That might be something cool. Yeah. Yeah? I think so. When are we going to stop running personal expenses through the business? Uh, I'm ready to stop. Okay. Yeah. When? Your business is profitable. I really don't understand why you're not just paying yourself a salary instead of playing for your gym fees out of your business. Okay. Okay. All right. All right. You're off to a coaching session. You're going to have a bit of a conversation with one of our, our business coaches. And hopefully, you know, you can drill into more detail with them yeah. and they can help you and, and help you grow your business because I think you've got a lot of um, opportunity for growth. You've got a lot of scope for growth. Um, and there are not a lot of black businesses that are involved in what you do. Thank you. Thank you so much. Right, Thank brother. you for the opportunity. The potential to become a worthy competitor in the removal space is enormous for duck projects. However, Charles needs to relinquish some of the operational responsibility to focus on finding new business. He's got a phenomenal business, he's an awesome entrepreneur, he's a hustler, and I think this business can fly. I'm pairing him with one of our seasoned coaches to help him get his ducks in a row. Uh, my interview with Pips uh, went very well. Uh, he gave me uh, a lot of uh, insights on uh, how to uh, actually manage my business and how to actually um, grow it up, you know. Who Charles Yenu says born is in Tazil film by business like Uguzelinga Tutui. Who's over not run on Clevin and make a sweet, or let out Mujak, or some season go with amnesia in the Biso. That's the ones I would leave business like Lissima. Out of all these products, what makes the most money? Which product makes the most? most? Uh, out of all these products, uh, our handyman services uh, makes money, mm -hmm. but uh, our core is the office remover. And so in terms of percentage? It's 80%. 80%? Yeah, 80% of the business. So Charles, you, you are making quite a bit of money. Why are you here? Uh, well, it's not enough. Okay. Yeah, it's there, but it's not enough. Okay. That's what I can say. Run me through your sales process. Okay, so uh, what we do to get clients, mm -hmm. I do a lot of running around. So uh, I do a cold calling. Yeah. So if I see a potential on a client, then I, uh, I go into the building looking for either facilities, procurement, uh, or project manager. Yeah. If I got that meeting, I go and present my products yeah. with my eco-friendly boxes and all the other things, how to make the move easier, you okay. know what I mean? Okay. So after that, uh, 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 I, I then ask for a survey because I need to see the actual items sure. so that I know what truck to What's bring, yeah. what equipment to bring to yeah. move that thing safely and without any damage. So basically you're saying this process is all manual currently? It's all manual. Okay. I need to see the client face to face yeah. Yeah. and then I need to provide the court. Yeah. And with the court, I don't prefer sending the court on an email. I prefer to go and discuss the court so that we are mm. on the same uh, page. Why would you want client. to discuss the court? Uh, I'm sure it gives me an opportunity uh, to find out from them in terms of budget, yeah. in terms of uh, uh, maybe the other competitors, how they... Uh, Is there how perhaps they... a way to do that before, uh, with your first co consultation? Uh, with my first consultation, mm -hmm. uh, the, the client doesn't know the price, the actual cost for the, uh, the move, for the service. Okay. So if I go the costing, I will prefer to go and discuss it face to face with the client mm -hmm. to tell them, okay, look, this is this and it came, came up to this yeah. amount, you know. Yeah. Then I can feel uh, where their budget, how much are they budgeted for. I think, Charles, that, that process on its own is too extensive. Um, you're losing a lot of money. A lot of his monies are lost in the processes of his sales and a lot of his money is lost with his HR structure. However, holistically, I believe that looking at his financials, he is running a healthy and sustainable business.
let's say you are here to meet me. Yes. I'm the client. What's happening on different sites? On different sites, I could, uh, like, for example, if we have clients, existing clients we are saving yeah. or we are asking. Uh, yes, existing certain, clients. The two project managers, mm. the two guys, uh, they can handle the, uh, the other uh, projects while listed under there. So you don't have issues with them handling the projects? No. Okay. Because what I heard earlier on, you said you you had trust issues because people were actually stealing your yeah, clients. The two guys uh, we're supposed to be ten now. Mm. The senior guys sure. now it's eight of us. So okay. the other two guys, when I discover that that's the attitude they are bringing in, when yeah. I tried to stop it, then they moved out of the company. Then they opened up their own company. So. Okay. Up until that stage, I'm still healing up. It's not that I don't trust the current guys which I have. Yeah. I do trust the current guys. You do guys. trust them? Yes, but okay. I still need the assurance that the same mistake won't happen again. Monthly one-on-ones help just to, to hear if, and, and to just do a diagnosis within uh, the team to pick up if people are still aligned to the vision of the company, and if not, what's causing them not to be aligned, and what other interventions can he put in place to make sure that the team are one and cohesive under one vision, under one mission. Charles, let's, let's move quickly deep into this thing. Yes. You're spending too much time okay. in your sales process. Yeah. How are you going to make sure that a three-day process can be done within a day? Oh, wow. I haven't thought about that. Okay. I believe that Charles needs to perhaps uh, map out his sales process and see how much of a digital platform can cut at least 40% or if 20% of his time and how much 20% could save his business. A quotation can be sent immediately whilst you're sitting with the client. Um, and, and this for me, it, it actually shows me a little bit more of your financial structure, which I'm hearing issues already because if you're sitting with a client yes. with a quotation and you still want to explain your costs mm -hmm. to your client, that means your costs are not fixed. That means you are very fluid with, with your costs. Yeah, I can say that because obviously my clients are all different. You know? yes. So I'll, I'll be like weighing up, okay, yes. do you have that buying power to buy that service yes. at that cost? Yes. Or you are the guy to accommodate with the, the other costing mm. or you are actually strained. You are maybe uh, desperate for the move, okay. but at least we can benchmark, you mm. know what I mean? Mm. Just giving uh, my guys opportunity to save for that day just to, you see, to a, an app would help you so much. Yep. You know, it will it will uh, cut a three-day process into a day. Mm -hmm. You know, yep. for example, construction companies today have an app. A project manager can see who's who, and where, at which site. They yeah. can clock in. Mm -hmm. They can state who, what tasks are they supposed to do. Mm -hmm. They can show them who who exactly has finished a specific task and who hasn't uh, finished a task. Okay. Uh, the coaching session with Lerato uh, went very well. Uh, he helped me to unpack and realize uh, that uh, I'm actually uh, losing more time uh, in my business doing sales rather than to put some alternative uh, ways of saving that time and attending to your business. Charles, you are then going to be presenting tomorrow at pitching yes. for 50,000, right? Yes. Perhaps look into that app. Mm -hmm. Maybe it is one of the tools that will help you shrink your time and help you move quicker mm -hmm. and help you increase your sales. Yeah. I wish you all the best tomorrow. Thank you so much. Okay. Thank, Thank you. you. So with the 50K, uh, I'll break it down. I would want to uh, improve my image, obviously. Then I'm planning to uh, implement a mobile app because nowadays I understand most of the people, they're spending a lot of time on their mobile. So I need to reach them there so that my client uh, relationship and my client loyalty will be at least improved. So. Do corporates function on apps? Charles Mdaba. Mdaba. Ah, Karak says input too. Mdaba. Eh, eh. Ubuilu is a picture for you. Tuzizo anje. Ah, you never see Anna, but ah, nzo ba shabu pech. Manje shko puse pepe le se si lapa. Ah. Oh, so yeah. your notes are there? Yeah. Well, the presentation, just... no matter just a man who's composed. Lang who's composed, a presentation in I. 
presentation is a second. I'm a note. I hope I look on to the composer and just to compose and jay. Okay, you take it in. I'm a my points up. Yeah. 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 All right. Mfuwe tu, kikifise ni nchanta, unange na macha chuzo yitu matatu aglindile. Ukule genjo kwa lupa avu. Kusha ento yako. Tante mwoto. Shaba. Unga shuna kwe. Charles. How are you doing? I'm doing good. You're doing good? Yes. All right, welcome back to Making Moves. Thank you. You have got four minutes to explain your business and dive right into telling us what you would do with 50,000 Rand. And your four minutes starts now. Good luck. Thank you. My name is Charles from Dark Projects. Uh, we specialize with our office moves. So my job is to assist my clients to overcome the fear of moving their valuables at the times of change, you know. So what we do, we, could, we do our corporate uh, moves where we uh, have processes in place before we move to save our clients time and to save our clients space because as we understand now, the businesses are moving from the, green, from the old buildings to the green building, so there's limited space in the building. So we do page uh, campaign, which is the process of cleaning up, like doing the shredding, Converting documents, uh, the physical documents, to uh, soft copies, that will serve our clients because obviously when they are moving, they are moving mostly they are moving to the open space. So the other product we do, we do asset management, where we are taking the assets, barcoding the assets, just to identify the locations and the value of the uh, of the products like the furniture and what they have there. Then the other uh, products we have, we got uh, document management. That's the file conversion, converting from the a hard copy to a soft copy just to match up the environment, you know. Then the last product is the handmade services. This is an umbrella for everything. What's uh, wiring our clients in an office space, we fix it. So uh, that's what we do at Dax Projects. So with the 50K, uh, I'll break it down. I would want to uh, improve my image, obviously. Then I'm planning to uh, implement a mobile app because nowadays uh, I understand most of the people, they're spending a lot of time on their mobile. So I need to reach them there so that my client uh, relationship and my client loyalty will be at least improved. So uh, the, the app is going to uh, obviously uh, help me in improving my, my payments. It will save me time from following up or on my payments. It will save me time from following up on my prospects. So if they see us that we do this, then they can just send a request, then we can respond there and there and give them what they want in terms of our service. Then uh, obviously it's going to um, uh, uh, improve my scheduling and uh, my reminders because sometimes I get a client who wants to move in December, then it's now November, I got so many projects I tend to forget. So I need to plan in future to just break it down. So uh, the other 16,000, uh, so 10,000 I'll use it uh, to develop the app, then 16,000 I'll use to print because I need to print uh, my vehicles uh, to capture uh, to match up with the uh, obvious, uh, with the uh, current world. Then uh, 14 uh, grand I'll use to advertise on the billboards because obviously, you know, in, in Houteng, there's a lot of traffic. So I think, okay, if someone is, of, it's, of course, it's a problem to someone, but to me, it will be an opportunity to put my name there on the freeway, you know. Then uh, the last 10 grand, I would like to train two of my senior guys uh, to convert them from being a project managers to sell so that we can at least uh, uh, reach out on a large scale. So uh, the mobile app, uh, it will assist me uh, in uh, improving my visibility to my clients all the time. Then it will create uh, a direct marketing channel uh, because currently, uh, from my survey, with the old uh, relocation companies, uh, there's none uh, who got this uh, app in place as it is. So I think it will be a new product for me and I'm sure my clients will be excited for that. And then uh, I would need to provide value, of course, for the clients because obviously nowadays it's hard to meet clients physically. So with my app, I'm sure it will be uh, just right on the tick. Then uh, I'd like to improve my customer engagement uh, in terms of sending out the invoices and reminding them of uh, uh, the payments and all the other things. Then obviously it will help me to cultivate my customer loyalty because after I save the client, uh, sometimes they forget, sometimes they lose the contact. But with an app, it's going to keep on reminding them that, okay, Dax is still there on the market, please. If you need something, we're here for you. Thank you.
All right, so your time is up. Uh, we're going to go into a short question and answer session. Yes. I don't know, guys. Um, any thoughts, comments, ideas? Charles. Yes. Tell me, how is this app going to improve your process? Uh, obviously, an app is going to uh, cut down my time uh, in terms of uh, the phone call because I'm having cost. Now, now I'm, I'm doing it manual. I'm doing all the, uh, the, the selling on a cold calling, so meaning I'm driving to the client. So it will save me fuel, then it's going to save me uh, a time Mm -hmm. then it's going to save me our uh, data in terms of every time I need to email, every time I need to email. So everything will be there on the app. Okay. Yes. Charles, yes. Your, your target audience is corporates, right? So you're obviously dealing with someone at a corporate. It's corporates and individual. So okay. meaning corporate and home moves. Because most of the time okay. when we move corporates, uh, certain staff, individuals, uh, they're impressed, then they'll ask us, okay, can you help me with my home? But so your bulk of your business is with it's corporate. corporates? Yes. Okay. So, do corporates function on apps? Mm. Yes, they do. Do they? They do. So you have one person that's going to download the app and is going to watch out for Charles's updates, etc.? Yes, so uh, with my app, it's going to target, like for example, in the LinkedIn, uh, you obviously know uh, this uh, this person is responsible with this. Maybe is a director, is a facilities manager, is a project manager, is a, uh, a quantitative, quantitative surveyor. So uh, I'll directly link and uh, target those guys to at least have the app pop up in their cell phone. So uh, it's easy to direct it to them. What's what's made you decide on billboards as a form of marketing? Um, and what marketing do you currently have in place? Uh, currently, I'm doing most of the cold calling, meaning uh, I, I go around and look for the biz uh, for business because obviously there's cranes around. Then I know there's a building there. Then I look for uh, the uh, the billboard, the, the outside board, where it will tell me the quantitative surveyors, the project manager. Okay. Then from there, I'll approach them. Then they will tell me who's responsible for that move. Then I pitch my business. Then I produce the quotations. Then I go and negotiate for the price. If it's sealed, then it's good luck for me. Okay. So with the billboards, I did see that uh, I'm looking uh, I'm looking around to see where exactly people people are spending time. So I did see that it's on the cell phone and it's on the freeway, stuck in traffic, like today. So uh, if I target those two, I think I'll be right in their fingertips always. Like, do you know how much an app costs? Have not, you done research on how much an app costs? Rand. Especially uh, the app that does what you want it to the do. The CRM, yeah. The CRM app, have you? Have you researched how much it costs to put a billboard in a high visibility area? Mm. I did. You did? Uh, yes, I did. Are you sure? Yeah, I'm sure. Okay. Uh, who did you go and talk to about a billboard? Uh, the billboard, uh, there's a, um, uh, uh, what do they call this? Uh, Kinder Media. Kinder Media, yeah. Okay. And, and they quoted you 14 grand for a billboard? They quoted me for uh, 13 grand. For yeah. how long? For how yeah. long? And where? It was last year. And, uh, but but wait, for how long? And for how long? For at least three months. For three months? Where? Yeah. Where were they going to place this billboard? I need to understand. In, in one season. In All right, you, you know what? <laughs> yeah. I think you've got a great business. I think you're on the right track. You're doing the right things for the most part. Okay. So give us a few minutes and we'll call you back in. Thank you. Thank, Thank you. you. Ah, uh, my pitch, I'm not quite sure, <laughs> but I tried my best, I did my, all what I can do, you know. Out of ten, I can give myself seven. Alright guys, time to deliberate. Sure. Um, your thoughts? I don't think he's, he's listened to anything you've had to say yesterday, mm. if, if I know. Sure. That. Mm. And you, you can correct us. Yeah, yeah. I, look, I think he's put too much in one basket. He's put too much for 50K. I mean, billboards don't even go for that amount of money. Mm -mm. Mobile apps don't even go for that amount of money. I mean, the kind of apps that he's looking for, 
I really like integrated apps. If you want to get a part, because if you picture food, easy piece in two and come and go to Ongas Shincha, that would make you feel like you gave it your best shot. Will you pitch? Uh, especially with handyman services, and then I break it down into um, uh, my different sections. Yes, I just touched the umbrella uh, uh, subject here, yeah, which is just to assist with all the um, renovations and whatever mm -hmm. uh, the clients uh, experience some difficulties in an office space. Okay. He's developing an app mm. to make his life easier. Yeah. Yeah. I, the client, must download the app. I'm not mm -hmm. going to download another app on my phone mm. because I'm looking for a client that, or a service provider that mm. can prov that can do my move. No. You know what? He needs to spend time with the client and understand. Totally. How he can solve their problems. Totally. Before developing. You know, he's before trying developing. to solve his time his problem. problem. Mm. Yeah. Because he's employed all his friends, mm. they're not doing what they need to do. And it's, it's quite easy. I mean, and the reason I asked, what is his strategy at the moment? Mm. So LinkedIn is a really good tool if you know how to use it. Yeah. It, it costs him to upgrade to LinkedIn Premium with mm. all these guys. Mm. Go and look for facilities management. Send them information about the benefits that mm. your company has. You don't have to leave your desk. Mm. You know, it's, it goes directly to them. They get it, they read it. Sure. You can see whether they've read it or sure. not. You know who to target again. Sure. So that is a f pretty cost-effective application mm. or social media platform that he can already use. Mm. So what it tells me is that he hasn't done enough homework around he who research. he wants to do business with. Yeah. And what he's offering is that sets him apart from the next mover. Mm. He needs to go back to his clients and figure out how is his service, mm. are they happy, Absolutely. before he even tries and changes Absolutely. the model. Absolutely. Because right now he's making 1.3 bar. Mm. He's doing well. It's not bad. It's not bad. Um, you try to implement an app, poof. Sales might drop. Sink his Absolutely. business. Yeah. 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 Absolutely, because he doesn't know what he's doing sure. or what the client wants. What the client wants. Yeah. Yeah. All right, uh, let's bring him back in. I'm sure you must be dying to find out if we are Julia Wiska Veslandelayo, no matter. As soon as we're going to go to the church, we're going to go to the church. We're going to go to the church. Ah, thank you. Charles, I believe you've got a lot of potential. You're running a business, it's making money. The thing that you do where when you see a crane, that's a hustle, that's amazing. Mm -hmm. You see a crane, you know there's a move happening, you go, you look on the board, see who's involved, take down the details, find their contacts and get a job. That's amazing. Mm -hmm. And I think that's hustle, that's ingenuity, you can't teach that to anyone. Charles, you've started your business on philanthropy, on reasons of philanthropy, mm. okay? You, you're not running a charity organization. You're not running a shelter for your friends. You need to take it seriously if that's where you're wanting to go, but you need to make that decision as well. In terms of apps, there's an app called Asana. It is free. It's a project management app. You can assign tasks to people. You can assign responsibilities. You can check whether it's invoiced. And it even tells you when the task is, uh, when the time has um, expired, it reminds you. You can put reminders on there. So I think you're trying to reinvent the wheel and make excuses for you not doing research. And there's no easy way to say this, okay? If you're wanting to step from where you are to the next level, only you can do that, and it's a mindset change. Mindset change means you might have to clean up around you. And it's not easy, but at the end of the day, you need to decide what it is that you want. Do you want to stay and be r rushing your tail every single day and being the hustler and everybody's just coasting? You need to make that decision, and I don't think you've made that decision yet. What do you think of a feedback? Uh, I think it's fair. It's right on spot, mm -hmm. uh, yeah, because I find myself uh, caught in, like, and trying to do everything, and someone is just relaxed, and at the end, those are the people, tomorrow they're gonna come and uh, do silly mistakes, you know, so I think you're right on spot. Gotta be cruel to be kind. Yeah. Okay. Charles, your job is not to run around and fix every department. 
you need to hire people to do that. That's why you pay them. Do you get that? I get that. Okay. All right, so we've got a few tasks for you, Charles. Um, the first one, I think, is you need to go and revisit your operational structure. Revisit who's there. Have an honest assessment mm. of whether you need all the people you have and if they're the right people and if they're in the right position. And if you find that someone in that structure is not the right person, friend or not, fire them. I know some of your fear is around your staff and that makes me concerned about the contracts you yes. have with your clients and the contracts you have with your yeah. staff. Because mm -hmm. then you're always blocking and trying, no, free yourself, man. Yeah, you, 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 you're working from a premise of fear then, and that's difficult, so you need to clean up. Go and revisit your sales strategy. Mm -hmm. Go and find, truly go and find where your clients are. I love what you're doing with construction sites, etc., etc. but where else are they? What magazines are they reading? Because there's specific people inside these organizations. What conferences do they attend? You know, what websites do they visit? What, what, you know, what trade publications do they look at? Where are they? Find those people and find a sales strategy that allows you to get to them, right? And part of that revisiting your sales strategies, you need to employ more people in sales. This idea of, I'm going to take two of my project managers and move them to sales. Dude, if you need more salespeople and they're not salespeople, fire them and hire salespeople. As opposed to trying to re-engineer their skill set so that they can go and fit. No, you're building your organization around people. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. Charles, um, unfortunately you're not moving forward with us, but we've given you sound advice that you can take and implement in your business. Um, as we tell everyone, you can choose to use it or lose it, but it will be to your benefit um, to, to look at it and implement. It's, it's critical um, success factors that, that you need to go and implement. We wish you all of the best. Thank you. Thank Thanks, you. Charles. Thank Good you luck, so man. Thank you. Uh, my overall experience with uh, making moves, uh, it was quite uh, exciting, you know, uh, because uh, the judges helped me to unpack some of the stuff which I wasn't aware of, you know. So it's good in your life to have someone uh, to challenge you in what you're doing, uh, because you might think you're doing the best, but actually you are running a cost, you know. If you are an entrepreneur and would like to be featured on the show, contact us on makingmoves at sabc.co.za or visit our website.